What's up everyone? Happy Friday. I trust you are well. I'm sending all the positive vibes your way. Um, but this week I have had the word detox on my heart, super heavy. And then I spoke with a dear friend of mine and within the first minute of our conversation, she said the word detox. Okay, God, I hear you. I'm going to go ahead and do a little video confirmation, right? So the word detox means a period of time or a process. Just stop right there. It didn't say instantly. It didn't say overnight. It didn't say, you know, one, two, three, boom. It's a process, a period of time. Plant the seed and then you got to water it 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 and eventually you'll see a harvest. So consistency, Okay, detox is consistency. It's not just a one time and you're done, a one time and they, you know, that's not how it works. It's a process of abstaining or ridding the body of toxic or unhealthy substances. Okay, I don't know what that is for you. You do. If you will, if you will spend time reflecting, and that's what I'm encouraging you to do, is to reflect on the areas that need detoxing. Could it be a physical substance? Absolutely, absolutely. Could it be a physical scroll that you are choosing to scroll and feed your mind? Absolutely. Could it be what you're feeding your ears? Absolutely. Could it be who you're hanging around? Absolutely. Some things that are toxic and unhealthy may be enjoyable but they're toxic and unhealthy, not creating the best version of you. And so I'm just encouraging you to take a step back and see what areas could you abstain from. And by the way, the word abstain per Google means refraining oneself from doing or enjoying, enjoying something. So whatever it is that you need a detox from may be enjoyable, but it, Although it's enjoyable does not mean it's making you the healthiest, the best version of you. So you may need to abstain from some of the chocolate. Maybe you need to abstain from whatever substance. Maybe you need to abstain from hanging out with those friends that yeah, they're fun, it's enjoyable, but not bringing out the best version of you. You see what I'm saying? So I'm taking um, a detox in my life, right? This week I was reflective. Your girl didn't get up and work out like she's used to, right? So this week, I noticed I was staying up a little bit later than what my typical self does in order for me to get up, work out, get that quiet devotion, prayer, closet time before the kids even get up, right? Now, yes, last night was enjoyable. I skated around the house all night. It was the first time I broke out my skates since being in Charlotte. Hey, if you know, you know. And, and then skates. They take me to a place that, that, that is, it's just, I love to skate. Your girl can skate. Okay. I still got it. It was a little slick on the floors, but your girl still got it. I can't wait to go to a skating rink. Um, I was bouncing all sorts of things. Side notes. Uh, but although that was enjoyable, right? Staying up so late didn't bring out the best version of Shayna because I didn't get to work out this morning. I didn't get that prayer time quiet time like I know I need for me to be grounded to be the best version of me. So I'm looking at habits this week, right? A detox from, from new habits that were created. Maybe that's something that you can also detox from. It doesn't have to just be a physical, you know, tangible thing. Maybe it's the way that you're thinking. Maybe it's those people that you're surrounding yourself with and feeding. But if you are choosing to scroll in a mode of comparison or scroll just to see people who are upsetting you and irritating you, or you're choosing to listen to things and, and, and be discouraged. If you're choosing, then the ball's in your court. You are limiting you from being the best version of you because you're choosing, right? So if I choose to do things that are negative, I'm choosing not to allow Shayna to be the best version of Shayna. So if you are choosing the balls in your court, and I'm just encouraging you to look and see what it is that you're choosing to feed yourself 
mentally, spiritually, physically? What is it that you are choosing? And can you detox yourself a period of time, a process, doesn't happen overnight, to see the results of creating the best you? I hope y'all have a great weekend. And that's that.